uh, tomorrow on the drama show I'll, I'll be talking about fiction I've got a, um, a script or a situation called CD Walk uh, for new listeners, I, you know, old, old listeners, I just keep, go, do go on about this every so often, but it takes a different form each time, so new listeners can catch up. It's, it's basically looking at Exeter, walking around the central part of it, where the CD shops used to be, and wondering how, how retail moves online and what else is going to move online, um, specifically higher education because there's so many buildings going up uh, still and the, the move of ed education online um, what's going on with that uh, that's the topic of conversation so there, there is a there is a sort of structure to the conversation there's some sort of resolution on hybrid but towards the end of it maybe um, but it it's sort of improvised or I have got I have got a script. I sent the script to um Downstage Right. The they're based in Plymouth and they, they came to Exeter for the fringe, not the last one, the one before that. And they will rewrite your play for just a pound. Um so that's a very good offer, but they they haven't sent me back another version of that of that script. But it may yet happen. Uh anyway what I wanted to, to point out in the um, expose, which is the Guild Student Guild newspaper in Exeter, the latest one, I think it's the uh, 29th of March. Yeah, no, it's quite. It's a recent one. Uh, Lucy Evans, who is the online features editor, writes about uh, working remotely, working from home, and just incidentally. There's a, a couple of paragraphs about remote learning. Uh, workplace environments cannot be replicated virtually. From, uh, when viewing the prospect of working, or more specifically learning, from home, from a student perspective, the arguments champion, championing remote working lose their novelty and are instead encumbered with the reality that online learning can be an incredibly unsocial and demotivating way to spend time at university, a time that is meant to be social and active. So I, I take from that because I can't find anything else um, that things are things have sort of gone back to normal. That the the interest in Zoom and online learning and so forth that did exist during the lockdown that's sort of gone away again. Most of the discussion, I mean, certainly. Um, all the discussion about schools that you get from the government, there's, there's nothing there really about continuing with the um, kind of kind of offers that did exist. And I don't, I don't think the BBC, the BBC at Bet, it was, it, they were there, but it, was, it just didn't strike me as a very high-profile operation. There wasn't, there wasn't a, um, a minister turning up to congratulate them or any, anything like that going on uh, so I, I'm, my guess is that um, a lot of pe I mean it's not just Exeter a lot, a lot, a lot of people in, in higher education think that the campus module is what's required um, and all the, all the conversations about MOOCs and so forth, they're not novel um, they've, been, they've been there for 8 years, 10 years, something like that um, so there is, I think the technology is pretty well established and it's probably happening somewhere. Um, and when you, when you get, think back to the, the CD and the, the record companies and the point of view they had about it over 10, 15 years, I don't, I don't know. Um, we'll get back to all of these things. The, the other thing, so I so went up to the, the campus and ha had a look I've also got from the um, Innovation Centre the Extra Civic University Agreement, which I've had a look at. And uh, again, it's 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 very good, but there's not there's not I can't see what they what they're going to do about online learning where where that might fit with the balance of what they spend on buildings and how that might fit with some sort of hybrid or um, online existence from from the city centre point of view. 
So I'm, I'm, maybe we'll come back to all of this later, later on. 